Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Project Minoids uh, server play series. I'm alone on this server at the moment. Uh, my buddies are sleeping probably because I'm in a different time zone. So, yeah, uh, I hope they will join me soon. But uh, for this episode, you can see here is my home. And I have set the waypoint there. And. Oops. Ori berry. Okay. Berry bushes. Okay, so this is my crappy home. And here is upstairs. It's uh, currently empty. And. Um, so, uh, here we have some chests here, uh, barrels, and some stuff. Well, basically nothing new. I've been just doing some gathering of resources. You can see that I have plenty of ores here that I can use. And uh, now I have also smelted some of those ores, not uh, all of them, because I want to get on with doubling and increasing the ore production. Um, but in this episode yeah let's uh, let's do some i need to craft some machines so um in order to get some uh or basic ore processing so the machines will be let's see um i want to use ender io mod for doubling my ores because um the ender io mod is really great it it is um, super useful and is it's easy to to easy to manage the machines. You don't have to have a lot of conduits and stuff. So I probably need some of these stuff. Uh, let's see. I need some iron. That's that's for sure. I need a lot of iron. So let me grab uh, this much. Let me grab a stack of cobblestone and I need some wood, of course, probably, yep. There and I'm gonna get some red redstone, probably I need some copper and a gold. Now, I think I have some gold here. I have gold gravel ore, which I'm going to get in, in inside here. Okay, so this is all good to start. Mm, so, first of all, I want to get a sterling generator. So this is basic uh, mach uh, a machine that can power your um, other machines. So we need some stone stuff, and for that I'm going to use this thing. Of course, stone bricks, I uh, need a furnace there and I need uh, this so therefore I'm going to use some sticks um, let's get some of uh, this stuff too so a piston four pistons let's get them all why not and uh, let's get basic gears I need two of them and my sterling generator is ready. So this is not uh, hard to get. Really, it's not. Um, now I can place it over here. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So the next thing I want to have is the sag mill. The sag mill. Uh, we need uh, some some of that things yeah there it is the flint we need some flint three of those uh sag mill we need mas machine chases and i need some gold for this basic capacitor that's not so hard to get isn't it so let's go ahead and get it why not okay so a basic capacitor, I'm going to get two of those and machine 
chases I'm going to need iron bars there and sag mill should well I need chases mm. okay so uh, before yeah we need chases here too so I'm going to get two of those okay uh, now there will be something interesting in this uh, episode so you better stay on because I'm going to ride some planes now before I do I need some materials for them so that's why I'm getting these um, machines so I can double my ores and get a lot of more materials so there we go these are three basic machines that are required for this mode so um, so you can see that uh, the sag mill is near this stirling generator and this will uh, get a power from from it from the stirling generator but the you can see that it's producing power and all the power is going here into the sag mill but not here so we need some conduits here and uh, let's see how to get the conduits here the basic conduit is energy conduit we need some conduit binder which comes from binder composite which is again sand uh, gravel and clay so I have sand of course I have gravel uh, I believe I have clay somewhere there it is and let's get a bunch of those uh, so I need this I believe then I need this and this and let's get a couple more okay cool that's more than enough so let's smelt this stuff and I'm gonna smelt it here too uh, now the next thing we need is 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 the conductive iron so to get that we are going to need um, alloys uh, to cook redstone and iron in alloy smelter so that way we can get conductive iron but before we go I'm going to make a wrench yet a wrench from this mod um, or I, sh I cannot make it just yet I need to go ahead and do this and now we have some power here uh, that's cool I'm gonna disable here if you you know if you go ahead uh, I believe if you destroy this and place it here you it will retain a configuration and a power so now I'm gonna gonna power only alloy smelter I'm gonna get um, some of this stuff there and this stuff and turn into the alloys mode so now I will get alloy I mean energetic iron and that's all we need for this thing so cool Um, so this is uh, this is smelting really uh, not smelting really fast but we can increase the speed of how it smelts so but for now I'm going to get three of these conductive irons and just get a conduit to connect these machines up so I'll be back when once I have uh, materials for that okay guys I am back here and we have some conductive iron and we have some conduit binders oops there we go we have a lot of these stuff I'm going to save some of these somewhere for example here okay and let's get some conduits conduits are not hard to get so there we go 16 of those will be more than enough that we need so far so I'm going to drop off my things that I really don't need now and let's go ahead and connect 
these machines so I'm going to grab this thing unfortunately like this I need a sag mill and let's get uh, down here and let's run a conduit here so this is connected there I need my sag mill and I need my alloy smelter so you can see that they are getting power and uh, now the next thing hmm, let me see I need to move this thing somehow yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna want to move this because I have something in mind uh, that I'm going to apply in just a moment so I need this and this to be destroyed and I need this here I'm going to need energy conduit here now the sterling uh, generator here sag mill here and alloy smelter there cool now I need some chests and I can make them easily of course oops there I need just two of those there cool two chests one here and one here now I'm going to set up the configuration so the, that the sag mill uh, will grind ores and the, I'm gonna demonstrate you now so for example we have uh, where is my iron ore? there it is okay so the sag mill if I put here nothing happens now I'm going to set um, by clicking here I'm going to set on the top of the segment so you can drag and move click uh, left and you can move orient however you want now I'm going to right click here and set it to pool from this chest up so it will pull iron ore and it will grind it as you can see uh, the slot over here and it will double of course use one and double them and you can see that we can get uh, we have a chance to get pulverized tin and pulverized ferrous from iron ore which is great I mean this end rio mode is really awesome uh, by uh, that I mean the machines themselves are not so expensive but you can get a lot of cool stuff and you can benefit a lot with these machines so the next thing I want is to set uh, set these machines so let me set clear this and let's say all smelting and I'm going to uh, turn around here and say output so push into into this uh, alloy smelter so the pulverized iron will be pushed here and then I'm going to set up here um, set up here that the items will uh, that uh, this thing smelts will be pushed into this chest and this is all we have to do we don't have to run a bunch of conduits here and get it all crazy and messed up just to get some ores doubled no this is the final solution and here is how we get uh, ore doubling and we can also triple ores but I'm going to do that uh, talk about that soon so we have a slot over here and that's a slot for um, for two stuffs uh, for two items that can go there the one of them is the and the the items in that slot will allows allow us to increase the output of sag mills so for that I'm going to need some flint and I'm going to take all my flint so the first item that can go there oops, is, um, is a flint so 
you can see if I hold shift you can see that my output is a uh, hundred and twenty percent so that's cool and uh, you can have a bonus out output and power reduction so this will reduce a power cost of this machine so this is awesome and we can also have a better thing over here but not yet so we can use a dark steel ball that can output you can see that it's much better uh, from uh, the flint itself so that that those are two items that can go there and help our uh, output I mean increase our output okay once we have this stu uh, stuff I can easily go ahead let's see I need you you there and let me organize my inventory a bit and I will be back guys okay guys so let's get some fun in this episode uh, you uh, we have a f mm, very cool mod here that I haven't uh, been able to play with it uh, before so now is the right time uh, we are going to build an airplane now I'm, I'm really enthusiastic to see and uh, how we are going to do that so I never did it before so this is all new for me but I think I know some uh, basics to get started with with it so we we can see that this is mod is called flans mod you may have heard of it before but i haven't play played it with it more this mod uh, before so we have some let's see we have some guns here we have uh, we have some vehicles tanks we have some uh, airplanes we have some armor and basically that's all but it is really awesome when you get get some of those things so um, let's uh, first of all I'm going to need some a lot of iron so that's why I built this system here and hopefully yeah I'm getting a lot of iron there I'm going to get a lot more here so first thing we need is the let's see vehicle crafting table we need iron as iron as you can see here and we need some balls so to get balls I'm pronouncing that really weird so to, pr to get some balls I'm going to need this and there we go balls and this stuff will get me vehicle crafting table now just for now I'm going to place this vehicle crafting table here and when I right click here you can see that we have a lot of uh, machines and uh, vehicles that we can uh, build here we have uh, tanks, jeeps, uh, helicopters we have uh, airplanes and that's all so uh, the one that I'm really interested in is this one uh, the soap with camel it has cargo slots of 8 we don't have a bombs we cannot ride any passengers but it has two guns um, the main purpose that I want to build this thing is that I want to explore this map and the good things to explore the map with is the uh, airplane or some flying source uh, yeah so let's get it on let's see here uh, now this is the recipe that we need here to get this plane crafted so I don't know really that if we have enough resources but I'm going to try uh, first of all I need uh, this this thing here now now unfortunately it's not saying what name of this item is so I have to search it here uh, now so this might be the, the one so wooden propeller we need it's not so uh, hard to get it's really cheap I'm going to get some sticks though and let's see wooden propeller is made like this or no uh, yeah like this okay cool wooden propeller 
the next thing we need, let's see, is you can see that uh, items that we have are not highlighted with this red uh, square. So we have uh, the propeller we need. Now we need this thing here. I don't know what this is, but let's find it out. Wooden cockpit. Okay, so that's only a boat. And that's really easy to get, of course. So let's get some wood. And let's make a boat. And turn this boat into wooden cockpit. Cool. Now let's get others, some other stuff. So we need these two stuff uh, things. Uh, and I believe that that's a small wheel so let's see I have some leather I need eight of these and and I need some iron so that's all we need so let's get you and we have two wheels that's cool let's go and get some planks I believe these are just planks so I'm going to require some oak planks yep and we need some I believe these are wings uh, biplane wing okay this is not so hard to get so let's actually try to get it with using uh, like this no we must use uh, oak okay so I have some oak here that's not a problem oh this, no this is jungle wood has just a few oak okay so but that will be enough for the wings now uh, I'm going to use this this and this and get me two biplane wings so that's cool we have two biplane wings I need two strings I have just two strings, that's cool. Uh, we need uh, this thing, which is wooden tail. So this plane is really, really cheap to get. We, we only need some wood for that, and that's all. So I believe that this is the wooden tail, yep. And we need... Okay, so I believe that's... What's this? I believe this is, again... Um, yeah, this is again a small wheel, I believe. So let's get one more small wheel. So I believe that's iron. And four of these will get me... Yep, that's all. And we only need some yellow dye. And of course we have some of these so well actually let's get it in, into the sag mill so this oh we cannot get it okay never mind i, I just want wanted to get more of that okay so this is it we need four now i don't know how i cannot get yellow dye from this thing Never mind, I am going to find a yellow flowers somewhere, or if I break and replace, nope, not working, somehow. Okay, I need some yellow flowers. Um, I'm going to sleep, and let's go ahead and find a yellow flower, and that's all we need to make a, f a plane, guys. Um, let's see, I'm going to run around and yeah I see some flowers here they are yellow come on be the one we need yeah cool and let's go ahead and craft our stuff so I believe if you have all the stuff in your inventory it's going to say it like this so I'm going to need some uh, oak woods there and that's all we need so we need one engine here I believe so to get an engine let's see uh, where are the engines I'm going to search that 
so engine I believe these are the engines so let's see V6 V4 V6 V8 cool well I, I think I can go with V6 engine mm, yeah so we need some flint and steel uh, I'm going to grab flint get some of these and let's see what we need to get V6 engine we need uh, this engine piston which is again crafted like this we actually need more of these so I'm going to get more and I believe I need this much and then let's go ahead and craft those like that like that there and there so these six of these I believe we need for V6 engine and only a couple of iron so let's see yep there we go we have engine so I believe that's all we need we can see that craft button is green and press craft and you get yourself uh, we have an airplane so I'm not going to place it here and show you because um, it's gonna destroy everything I believe so I'm going to drop off unnecessary stuff and let's see uh, let's go outside uh, so but for the next episode I plan to build a, a nice um, airfield so let's see there we go oh my god this is so awesome I'm going to take some screenshots and one screenshot here and this is my plane so to go into the plane here you just right click here and it is not moving if you do anything if you press R button you can see the airplane menu we need some fuel to run this we have also cargo here so these are some slots for cargo and we have some fuel here so let's get off the plane here and we need to get some fuel inside of that so to get a fuel we need let's see oops I'm just lagging a bit I don't know why so to get a fuel fuel we need a fuel can yep we need some charcoal I mean coal and a piece of iron so I'm going to get eight just uh, to get enough fuel and get two cans so let's go with these two cans and hopefully that we can turn on our airplane this is so exciting I have never played with this mod before so press R on your keyboard go into the fuel and drop your fuel here so the fuel tank will uh, go and fill out here you can see we are filling out the fuel tank I believe now our uh, plane is ready to go we cannot put missiles here we cannot put bombs here this is a basic plane we can put some guns here but we won't do that we can uh, see that how um, much our uh, what's the damage on our airplane I believe it can be damaged and that's all oh my god I'm going to turn this off a bit I don't know how to okay, okay so this is the volume for this thing I'm going to, to let it be on one so this is how to reduce um, the noise so it's pretty noisy so let's see if I hold forward I should go ahead and um, uh, 
let me press F5. Okay, so you can um, control your airplane uh, with a mouse or with uh, the ho keys. So if I hold V and press space, I will go up. If I press sh no, not shift, no, 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 not shift. If I press control, I believe. So let's see. Space will lift me up. But I prefer riding with my mouse. And if you ever played Battlefield, that's the same logic here. So we are flying, guys. Finally, and let me... Oh my god, I don't know where I am. Okay, so this is weird. This is so cool. Oh my god. I'm going to die here. Okay, so we are flying. So we have our airplane and I can easily explore the map now with this airplane. I don't know what's the damage here. So I'm going to take a look here. Nope. Cool. Uh, I believe if you want to use controls, it's like same like uh, regular movement keys uh, except space will lift you up and control will uh, let you down I mean okay so let's fly above our spawn and I believe that this will be the end of our episode so this is really fun guys I mean look at me now I'm going to take a screenshot again because I like it okay so uh, guys thank you for watching the next episode I'm going to get some other cool stuff hopefully uh, I hope this you enjoyed here uh, if you did uh, leave a like button uh, yeah press the like button subscribe me as always have fun guys so this is our spawn here and I'm going to land somewhere here hopefully I don't die so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, bye guys. Bye.